சக சிங்கப்பூர் மக்களே வணக்கம் வணக்கம் டாக்டர் தான் உங்கள் அதிபர் தேர்தல் வேட்பாளர் வேட்பாளராக போட்டியிடப் போகிறார் அவர் தொழில் தொழில் ரீதியாக ஒரு மருத்துவராக இருந்தாலும் டாக்டர் தான் சுவன் ஹப் ஹோல்டிங்ஸ் லிமிடெட் மற்றும் ட்ரெஜிங் இன்டர்நேஷனல் ஏஷியா பசிபிக் லிமிடெட் போன்ற பெரிய கம்பெனி கம்பெனிகளில் நிர்வாகியாக இருந்து தலைவராக இருந்திருக்கிறார் மற்றும் ஐரோப்பியாவின் ஆக பெரிய வங்கியான இங்க் பிரைவேட் பேங்க் ஏஷியாவிலும் தனிப்பட்ட முறையில் தலைவராக இருந்திருக்கிறார் நீங்கள் எனக்கு ஆங்கிலத்தில் பேச அனுமதி தாருங்கள் லெட் மீ ஸ்பீக் இன் இங்கிலீஷ் my fellow singaporeans beloved friends good evening allow me to elaborate further in english dr tan chen bok stands here as your candidate for the elected president i have known dr tan for 30 years don't guess my age Dr. Tan is a leader with integrity, very honest and full of passion for people. His track record and actions are testimony to this. Let let me share with you all. Dr. Tan practices as a medical doctor. in a rural village called Amakain village the residents were the less well off farmers i believe most of you know the farmers in the 50s and 60s he attended to his patients who saw him for snake bites dog bites iguana bites as a try as a try the villagers even called him a snake bite doctor do you believe it this kind hearted doctor who had been denied work in government hospitals due to his due to his ns psco was here to serve the poor and needy villagers some of whom also came from the nearby villages and flocked to see dr tan for treatment he at many times treated them on a pay when able basis meaning the farmers and their families have got no money to pay for their medical treatment dr tan treated them and they pay whenever they have the money to pay patients would also pay in kind that is some brought him fruits and vegetables in lieu of payment others needy patients were even treated for free those who can't even buy fruits they were treated for free you will ask how do i know this i've heard and know this because i was born in a nearby chuachukang village i also studied in amakeng primary school which is walking distance to his clinic i and my classmates visited dr tan's clinic for treatment I was very proud when my doctor became a member of parliament. I later worked with him in the industrial 
Union, which is called FBIWU. We served workers in the food and beverage hotel related industries. Did you all know that Dr. Tan has worked with unions and workers? Let me share with you. Dr. Tan Chamber was on the Council of Advisors of FBIWU. I was then a trade unionist leader and worked with Dr. Tan while I was the head of industrial relations of FBIWU. And it is understood that Dr. Tan has passion for workers, workers, families, employees, and trade unions. Yes or no? He cares for all the workers in Singapore. I've also worked with Madam Cecilia, our soon-to-be First Lady, Mrs. Tan. Let's have a loud cheer, our wonderful Mrs. Tan, Mrs. Cecilia Tan. <laughs> Dr. Tan was passionate and very involved in ensuring the welfare of the union, welfare of the union members and workers. Do you know how he was how his concern was for the workers? Let me share with you. Install policies, bursaries, bursaries for people who have no money to go to school. Scholarships for the enhancement of education for the children of union members and workers. At times, we worked late into the night, and Dr. Tan was always present despite his heavy workload, being an MP and a medical doctor. This shows his passion for people, the union, and the workers. Yes or no? Dr. Tan always had a smile on his face as he enjoyed caring for the people. He has a heart for people. The poor and needy were always on his mind and their welfare in his heart. Allow me to share just one more story of a young student from Raffles Institution. Uh, no, no, going, going. Just going, please. <laughs> this of Dr. Stan's struggle when at the age of 16, he lost his father. He then lived with six siblings in the Port Walker's quarters. After his father's death, Dr. Tan contemplated to leave his studies as Raffles Institution to look for work to support his mother and family. Thank God he did not. We now have this top 100 revolution about to be voted in as our people's president. Let me finish the story. After his father's death, it was discovered that $28,000 due to them from Union's Benevolent Fund. The hub about Union people made it difficult for Dr. Tan, a 16 year old then. It was a huge struggle for Dr. Tan to recover the money that was due to his father. He stood up for, to the powerful, huge, burly union officials and fought for the right. He fought for the right of his father 
as well as right for the people. This is the man who will stand up as a president and fight for the people of Singapore. and bought the first fridge for his mother. Meanwhile, his studies had suffered. Now, with the money, he continued his studies, looked after his siblings, and bought the fridge for the mother. He stood up as a young boy. He continued to stand up as an MP. As a president, Dr. Tan will always stand up for the people of Singapore. His motto, Think Singaporean First. Walk, walk for Dr. Tan Cheng, walk for president.